Hey guys, today I am filming my makeup rehab update for February. If you guys did not see my intro where I explain all my rules for this year and my first update, I will have my playlist linked for you. Definitely check out the intro. I think it was kind of fun because I also went through and told you how many products I purchased and used up in each category in 2023, which thank you Steph for that wonderful idea. But this is gonna be a really big update. I've got a lot of empties, a lot of purchases, and a lot of PR. So last month, we ended out with a balance of 20 credits. And since then, I have returned four products. So I'm going to give myself four points back. So we'll be back up to 24. I decided to return the Polite Society and the About Face Foundation. I know people have been loving the About Face. And part of me was like really trying to make it work to make me fall in love with it and I think it's fine but I don't think it's great and I have several foundations in my collection that need to work through that I like just as much if not more so I am going to be returning even though I didn't spend that much money on it it's really not about that it's just I don't want to hang on to something that's just fine but like literally I feel like a crazy person that I'm not obsessed with it like everybody else and I did have some first impressions on those which I will have linked the about face might not be up yet, but Polite Society is. I also returned both the concealers I purchased last month. So the NYX Pro Fix It Stick. I had the third shade. Shade three and shade four are so different in terms of depth. Like there could be like three shades in between there. So there's just no perfect color for me. I really did enjoy the formula and I was going to be using it as a blemish concealer and three was still just a little bit light. So it really sort of defeated the purpose of covering acne. So that's really a bummer because the formula is incredible. So if you can find a shade for you, go for it. And then I also returned the Tarte Shape Tape Radiant Concealer and it was like super nice and creamy and blendable but I shouldn't have gotten it. I just got really excited about it, but it is a little bit too dewy looking for me. I didn't notice any real like shimmer in there, but it just looked dewy under my eyes, which I did not think was a cute look. So all four of those are gonna be going back. And you know, that's what I get because I told myself I wanted to have a one in one out with concealers and foundations and all right apparently i didn't like any which is what i get because i hadn't used anything up before i purchased those but i do want to now reset try to go back to that rule so after those returns i'm back up to 24 points and then i did use up seven products since a last update so that will bump me up to 31 points a lot of these products are in my winter project pan which i will link in the cards i finished this half ounce size of the becca backlight priming filter this is amazing one of the only glowy primers i actually enjoy first off i love the scent of this but it has a really nice texture it provides a beautiful glow without having any glitter and it doesn't make me more oily which is incredible then i also used up the l'oreal true match nude hyaluronic tinted serum in 0.52 very light this is something i had really loved when i first got it but after panning this i feel like it's just fine and part of that could be because I was mixing it with something else, which I think was like thinning out the coverage a bit, but it's good. I think a lot of people would like it. It's not the most long wearing on my oily skin, but if you have more dry skin, I think it's great. The little dropper on here is terrible. I was using an Amazon foundation pump with this, which I will have linked down below in case you are interested in picking it up because it made using this so much better of an experience so would not purchase this again at least right now also this i would buy if i could becca's not around anymore smashbox did not pick up this product i do have another of these that i am working on right now then no surprise here i finished another of my derma blend translucent loose setting powders this is a holy grail product of mine and i love this for setting my under eyes and setting my face it's nice and smoothing i don't really notice very much flashback but i'm also super pale Holy Grail, already have a couple backups, but if it is included in the Ulta 20 Days of Beauty, I will be buying a few more. Then I have some mascara empties. So for me, I use mini mascaras for two months and full size mascaras for four months. So I use these for January and February. And I always 
use two mascaras together to try to have more of a volumizing and a lengthening option. So for my volume mascara, this is the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes. I think this is amazing. This is definitely one of my favorite volumizing mascaras. The only negative is that this does get very messy and goopy and it just gets hard to open and close. But if this would go on sale like 40% off, I would happily pick it up. But I do think it's a pretty good use of rewards points, bonus points, what's it called? Your Beauty Insider points. And then the mascara I was pairing with it is the Freck Lash Rocket. This is so nice for separating and for length. I really enjoy this. However, this is a very dry formula. So I would love to buy this in the full size if it went 40, 50% off, but I'm a little bit nervous about whether in the full size it would be drying up just as quickly. I feel like the packaging like pulls off a lot of the product with, again, with it already being a dry formula, maybe it takes off too much. So I don't know, I would consider it, but I'm a little bit nervous about the full size, but I would be happy to get this as a little freebie again. It was a really nice product. I also used up my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Rose Gold. This is in my Power of Pan, which I will link for you. I did scrape it out like I always do. And this is really wonderful. You guys know I love my Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks, but in terms of this kind of shade, I think I actually prefer Bobbi Brown Golden Pink. They're very similar, but that one is a little bit more pink and this is a bit more champagne. But if I get more of these, I will happily use them up, but I don't think I would buy this color in the full size. And lastly, we have another lip gloss empty. This is the Jaclyn Pout Drip Lip Oil in Petal Drip. Jaclyn's brand is closing down, going out of business. I don't recommend these lip oils. They're very sticky and as they wear off, they get like stickier and like PC, they don't have very much pigment at all. They do feel nice and smooth right when you first apply them, but just know they also don't come with very much product at all. You'll use it up super quickly. So in my intro, I mentioned that for foundation, concealer, and lip gloss, I wanted it to be a one in, one out. So after my returns, I have a balance of one foundation credit and two lip gloss credits because I did use up my Morphe gloss last month and I didn't bring in any new glosses. So those are my specific product balance credits. All right, fam, so now let's get into the purchases. And really, I just placed one order during the Diamond Day from last month, and then I did place a pretty big Yes Style order because products were on sale, there was a coupon, I had enough free, free shipping and everything was in stock. It has not shipped yet because I did buy some back ordered products. So I'm not counting that until it shows up, but I did buy that. So for the big diamond gift of the month, it was from Maylie's, the Be Sleek Outer Thigh Stretch Mark Cream. I'm very excited for this. I have received some other Maylie's products in PR in the past and I have used up some things. I'm still working on some products. This is a really good brand. So I'm excited to try that out. And I know that was pretty pricey. And there was this little NARS freebie set with I believe a $30 makeup purchase. So it came with some foundation samples of the Light Reflecting Foundation, a mini NARS Climax Mascara, Inappropriate Red Lipstick, Laguna Bronzer, and the High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in Via Veneto, which is just their black shade. I am going to save all of this for a giveaway. I don't need any of these products. And then for the actual things I purchased, there were five of them. They're all lippies. And all of these were 30% off, so First is something that I cannot remember who I heard rave about these, the Iconic London Melting Touch Lip Balms. And all of the shades are super similar and there were not a ton of swatch videos, so I had a hard time picking a color. So I hope I picked the right one. This is very chunky. And I chose the color Love Language, a little more orangey than I was expecting. But we'll see how it looks on the lips. So after the 30% off, it was $16.10. Then I did buy two of the Flower Beauty Plump Up Gloss Sticks because 
Deb B really has raved about these and I believe Jen Phelps gave them high praise and probably Juicy Jazz as well. These have been out for a little while and after the 30% discount, these were $8.40 each. At first I got this pink color spicy. There it is. Spicy, it's a little bit more sheer than the Iconic London. Then I got this warmer color toasty. And here is toasty. It's a little bit more peach and less orange than the Iconic London. And then Flower's new lip glosses were on sale for 30% off as well. So these were $7.70 each. I had a hard time picking shades. Luckily, Jen Phelps did swatch a lot of the colors on her YouTube. And I basically picked two shades because I really want to try the formula and I wasn't sure which color I would like. I mean, if I like both of them, I'll keep both of them. This is their Gloss Crush Lip Serum. So, oh, I love seeing when the thing fills up. Ooh, nice big applicator. So I got the color Honey Crush, which again is pretty sheer, but I have lightly pigmented lips. And Bronze Crush, which has a lot more pigment to it. So very excited to try all of these formulas and see what I think of them and if I want to hang on to them. So now I have a lip gloss balance of zero because I used up two and then just purchased two. So now I have some products that are not going to count against me because Justin got them for me slash we got them and we were making other purchases on our joint card. So I'm counting these as gifts. Part of me feels a little bit guilty about that and part of me feels like I shouldn't even have purchased some of these things. But uh here we go. So from She Glam last month, I had gotten one of their little click up lip pens that I have not tried yet, but I want to try it because I have a couple other colors I'm interested in. And then this time I decided to buy one of their Chromazone Multichrome Gel Liners. They have six different shades and I chose the color Subliminal. I thought this one would be similar to the Kaleidos one I have and I wanted to really test out comparable shades and see what the formulas were like because I would love to have all the Kaleidos ones, but that would be a lot of money. I think they're like $16 each, and these were literally like 4 or $5. So, spoiler, I did already swatch this on my hand. It looks amazing. I haven't used it on my eyes yet, but I do actually think I'm going to go buy the other five. And whatever you buy from Sheen, you can also use coupon codes, so it will be even cheaper. And I have been wary of their products before, but... I do actually think the She Glam brand is pretty good. So there is the Chrome Liner in Subliminal. Very cool, really impressed by that so far, again, at least in swatches. Then I get four products from Marshall. So they had the number seven Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Serum for $6. And I think that this is somewhere between $25, $30. So this was a phenomenal deal. This is something I have panned in the past and I thought was a very nice, more like smooth consistency. I love the way that it felt on the skin. This is crazy because I have so many serums right now, but I just couldn't pass it up. It is a really good product. And if it was like $10, $12, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But for $6, I had to. And then I had been on the lookout for this and I finally found it. The Benefit Butter Balm in Secret Oasis. This was $8, which again was a pretty good discount because I'm sure that this is somewhere between like $20, $24 on Ulta. And I mean, the packaging is so cute. And you know, when you at TJ Maxx, you always got to open the box and check to make sure things haven't been used. I'm always worried that people are going to think that I'm the one touching, but like, no, I'm the one making sure it hasn't been touched. But it is just like a really pretty purpley mauve. Seems like there's a bit of a floral scent, which is a little odd, but excited to try that formula. And then these last two products were over with the skincare. And again, they were so discounted. I felt like it was worth a shot. And I'm trying to make myself feel better about getting these unnecessarily because if I don't like them, I will give them to a friend and I'll be fine with that. So we have got the Lawless Set the Stage Hydrating and Soothing Primer Serum and the Glam Guard Longwear Setting Spray. They were $8 each, which again, I'm sure these are around 30 bucks. So that's fantastic. Here is what the primer looks like. I know Samantha March has enjoyed this. And I actually have a pretty small setting spray collection right now. So 
I felt okay about buying this and usually I can get through a uh, setting spray. So. so like I said, I feel like these were unnecessary, but I am excited to try them and I'm not going to be counting any of these products against me because they were technically gifts. All right, so now we have PR. I got a lot of PR this month, which was so exciting. So I'm just going to grab and go. I took most of these out of their original packaging just to make them all fit in this box. The Inky List sent me their Bioactive Ceramide Repairing and Plumping Moisturizer. I'm so excited. I got a package from them like once before a fall VIB sale like two years ago. I love the caffeine eye cream. So very excited to give that a try. Then I Do Care sent me their new Hydro Vibes Hyaluronic Acid Collection. And here is what it looks like all cute in the box. I'm so excited that I got a duplicate though. Please stay tuned to my Instagram because very soon I'm gonna post a giveaway. And I'm going to have two winners, one that will win the hydrating I Do Care set and some I Do Care masks. And then the other prize will be for some Murad products that are geared towards more oily and acne prone skin. So very excited about that coming up. But here are the products that were included in that launch. So we have the Hydro Vibes 3 Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser the 10 Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and the 8 Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer. So really excited to try those out. I was over the moon when I saw this package from Smashbox because they sent their two lighter halo face palettes. Oh my gosh, I wanted these so bad. I really didn't think I was gonna get them. So I was so blown away. Here is the lighter palette called Pink Saturation. You have a highlighter bronzer and two blushes. And then the one that I'm most excited about is the second shade, Back to Cali. So definitely we'll be trying these out with you and sharing my thoughts soon. And then Smashbox sent another package with five of their most iconic products, which you can all purchase at Ulta, same with those face palettes. So they sent the Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer, which I will put in a giveaway. The Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner in Raven. I will put that in a giveaway because I never wear a black liner. The Always On Liquid Lipstick in Bossy also will be given away because I never wear red liquid lips, but I will be keeping these. I have gone through several minis of the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara and I love it. This is very good at lengthening and separating. So I'm really excited to have a full size of that. And I also want to keep the Be Legendary Line and Prime Lip Liner in medium pink rose. Oh, I don't really think I have a color like this. It's not my most used type of shade, but it looks so beautiful. And ooh, that is such a smooth formula. So really excited to try this. And then I reached out to Merit to see if there were any current campaigns going on because I knew the matte lipsticks were gonna be launching soon, but they actually sent me an eye set. So definitely wanna make some content with this and then I'll see if they have any more campaigns for the lipsticks. But they sent another of their solo shadows. This one is in social and I'm really excited to do a video giving this a second try. The other one, the first one that I chose, I think the color was just a little bit too dark for the fact that these are supposed to be more of like a one and done shadow. So I'm excited to try this lighter color. And then with that, they also sent the brush that was made to go with it, this number two brush, which I already have. So I'll give that one to a friend and then we've got some products that I've used up in the past. This is their Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade and this is in Blonde, of course. And then they also sent their Clean Lash Mascara in Perfect Black. This is a tubing mascara formula. So nice to have some restocks on those. Then I got two really exciting packages 
from Buxom. So first would be featuring their new multi-chrome plump shot lip serums. They sent me four of them and the clear shade. I have gone through some minis of this in the past and I really love it so I'm happy to have a full size. The plump shot lip serums are actually a burning lip plumper. It's not cooling like the rest of their products so definitely watch out for that. It is a little bit intense. And then for the multi-chrome ones, oh my gosh they're so beautiful. This is Starstruck Coral. Spellbound Pink, Dreamy Dolly, and Celestial Nude. I, of course, like the nude and coral color best, but these are really cool and actually show up on the lips, and you can't feel any of the shimmer in there. And then they sent a variety of lippies to celebrate Valentine's Day. I did do a lip swatch video on these, which I will link for you. So... They sent one of the lip polishes in Kelly, which looks very different than the color of the packaging, which is interesting, but I actually like this color better than I would have liked this more fuchsia shade. And then we have a lip cream and I got the color Rose Julep. I know my friend Amanda got Berry Blast, but this is a really pretty color. And this is one that I have had in the past and decluttered, so I'm happy to have it again. And what's crazy is I actually, because I don't have some in my collection where I don't have any of these already, and I do have a lot of their lippies. So they sent two of the Plump Shot Sheer Tints, which I have a couple of these, but not in these shades. So we have got Coral Kiss, which goes on more sheer than it looks here so it's not as scary then we also have cherry pop also more sheer than it looks here this will be so beautiful for some and then they sent three of their plumping lip matte i really love this formula so we have this red shade called drop some dollars it has a dollar sign then we have hit the beach which is more of a pinky red where Drop some dolls was more of an orangey red. And then you have this beautiful Mauvy Berry GNO or Girls Night Out. This is the one that I will keep. I'm going to pass on the orangey red and I'll probably keep the more pinky red hit the beach. So this certainly does not help my lip gloss inventory numbers, but I didn't purchase them. So I wanted to save the most exciting three packages for last. So I was able to snag another product on Skeepers, which rarely happens. I have the free one where things just go so fast. You're only able to get two products at a time, which would be totally fine if you were even able to get two products. But my friend Jamie has really found a way to be on it. It's amazing. And she messaged me after she was able to snag one. So I ran on over there and luckily it was still available, the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Color Corrector. So the lightest shade pink pomelo would be best for me. They do also have like a cherry blossom shade, but the pink pomelo was sold out, so I went with the next shade up, which is peach. I've already been using this. It's a little bit dark for me, so I am mixing it with a concealer, and that's working really well. I will be reviewing this next in my monthly makeup ranking, but I'm really happy that I got this, and I do still want to get pink pomelo. Last month, I was able to snag one of the Huda Beauty loose powders in the cherry blossom shade, and I want to buy another color in that as well. So 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 excited that i was able to get those huda beauty products because i've really been interested in them and then i was so excited because i was approved for the sigma ambassador program so basically every month they will send us a selection of products we're able to pick from you can pick two products and then you're going to make specific content with those products and post it on your social media and send it to them so they can post on their social media. And I'm totally okay with that. I don't believe we're gonna be getting paid at all. It's just like product for content. I know some people really don't like that, but Sigma is one of my favorite brands, so I'm totally fine with that. And who knows, maybe this will spark into something else. I just don't have a big enough following to just get regular PR. But I'm so excited because they had the lip creams as one of the options. I've been wanting to buy these forever, but they had been excluded from a lot of their sales. And they have five different shades. I picked 
These two, I definitely am also interested in Dusty Rose if I love this formula. So the colors I got would be Begonia and New Mod. So there will definitely be some content with these coming soon. Definitely do a first impression and then probably like a lip of the day or something. But really excited to try these out. And then I also did get another of their Sig Magic Brush Shampoo samples, which is great. I did do a video on Instagram of me putting all of my foil samples of the brush shampoo into a little pump bottle. And lastly, I won a giveaway, which hadn't happened in a while, except before this one, like a week or two before I did win a giveaway from C Loves Makeup on YouTube. It, oh my gosh, it's amazing. She messaged me, she's gonna be shipping it out soon and I cannot wait. It's gigantic and there's so many things in there that I cannot wait to try but I hadn't won a giveaway in a long time. When I was in grad school, I was getting so lucky. I won like three or four giveaways in the two years that I lived there, which was amazing, but it's been a hot minute. And this is an amazing prize because this was from Makeup On Your Radar on Instagram. I won the Cosmic Brushes Winter Wonderland Palette. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting because I've never tried this brand before. They have so many beautiful palettes. And this is one that happened on my wish list, but I hadn't purchased it because I don't use blue eyeshadows a ton. So I felt like I needed to wait for a sale or like I couldn't quite justify it. So this is incredible. I cannot wait to try this formula. Like this is a multi-chrome, just, oh, so was that one amazing right this looks so beautiful i cannot wait to try out the formula for the first time and make looks with this palette and i definitely want to try out their other palettes they have a pastel one that looks really beautiful and this brand is actually not that expensive i was really surprised to see that i think their palettes are like 35 dollars instead of most indie brands which are like 60 so oh my gosh although this is kind of weird i don't know if you can see it won't like close all the way exactly but that's okay i'll keep it in the sleeve i am really excited to have this and then they surprised me and threw in some products from clarity cosmetics which i've never tried before so they sent three lip liners and three liquid lipsticks this is the lip liner in virgo i can't swatch this one something happened to it but i will sharpen it and fix it this is mauve rose okay good i was able to get enough for a swatch which i'll show you after i do the final color and the last color is bourbon so we have virgo mauve rose and bourbon these look so pretty so excited to try these out they went on to the hand very easily but we'll see about on the lips and then for liquid lipsticks the lightest nude color is topanga like from boy meets world oh yes oh yes baby that is my type of color then we've got this more fuchsia shade melrose i wonder if this is supposed to be like a 90s 2000s thing like melrose place and then we have redwood okay i don't know if that's a name for something Woo, these are so wow. Oh my gosh, that is deep. That is deep. A little bit scary, but those are the liquid lipsticks. Very excited to try these. Let's also swatch these Sigma lip creams. I want to swatch Begonia underneath of Topanga. Oh, this one's going to be lighter. I can see that now. Way lighter, but still like in the same color family similar undertone but begonia would go really nicely with that virgo lip liner and then let me swatch new mod underneath of the mauve rose lip liner oh yeah that would go together quite nicely yay oh my gosh <laughs> i have so many new lippies which is a very exciting so i can't wait to try all these formulas and report back to you guys so woo -wee, i told you guys this was a really long video thank you so much if you stuck all the way through please let me know your thoughts on these products what you want to hear my thoughts on i would love to know what things you used up and purchased this month i cannot wait for my yes style order to come in i want to thank y'all so much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you soon bye guys